welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show has Triple A baseball for you. It's the Syracuse Mets and the Reno Aces. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. About to get started here, and today's starting pitcher, Koo. What do we need to know here about the right-hander? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to... And here's the first baseman, number 23. Number 23. Number 23. Down and in, oh, moved his feet. The 1-0. And that one off the outside edge. Come on, baby. Get your pitch up. Stay through it. Let's go. And a base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage batting counts four. where batting averages that's are that's just so much hitter. higher. Just Number a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. So one out, nobody on. And here is number 23. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. On the ground to the left. And that's just foul. They let a rip up there. Let's go. They say you win. Four two is the count. Crushed in the air. Left center field. Way back there. No doubt about it. That'll fire up the dugout, and we're all square. It's 1-1. One, one. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. It's Singy. It tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling, and I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was... Runner on at first with one gone. And here is Jonathan Araus. One for two. Oh, and here. two now. Ground ball up the middle. Oh, great stop. Coup to second. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Last half of the fifth coming up. All tied 1-1. One, one. Welcome back. John Shabby with Chris go. Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth, number 58. Come on, big guy. See it? Drive it right here.
The right hander back to work. And there's the ball. Here we go, kid. Here we go. That one hammered left field. That's back there. And that ball is gone. He sends it out of here. His second home run of the game. It's 3-1. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. That was one of those home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it, clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit below wasn't anything too impressive, but it had all it needed for him to circle the pillows. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Jonathan Arauz. One for three. Ground ball right side could be two. Lee over to second. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. Just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded, but an excellent job by the defense to turn that one and get out of this jam. Number 23. And the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone. Stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. Aye. That one's in there, 0-1. On, Wang on at second with two down. Out to short. Mauricio with the throw to first. Inning over. They put two on the board on one base hit, one error, and one left. Eighth inning coming up. The Aces on top here, five to one. you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team every ball club wants to be dominant at home winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one and your final six to two for chris singleton and our entire crew i'm john chompy saying so long The final line score for our ball game. For the victorious Aces, six runs, ten hits, no errors. They left ten men on base. For the visitors, two runs, seven hits, two errors. They left 20 men on base.